Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's your girl Rhonda. Anyways, if you guys haven't checked out my other videos before, go ahead and feel free to do so. Don't forget that I have a podcast and don't forget to follow my socials. Now that those are out of the way, today's video is hella special and very excited to share with you guys um, because, I don't know, I feel like I absolutely love YouTube, obviously. My favorite, favorite YouTubers are Alicia Marie and Remy Ashton. These are my favorite people. I love watching them vlog. And it never came to mind to me that like a lot of the YouTubers that I follow aren't people who really look like me, which isn't necessarily a problem, but like I love watching vlogs. I love binging them. I love experiencing and living vicariously through another person through their lens. And you know, like sometimes when they have moments where they break down or they wanna talk about something personal, it's kind of like, it's great that you can be relatable to someone, but it would be even more great if it was someone that looked like you, had the same culture as you, um, has the same experiences that you have. And that's when I started to realize that I really didn't follow anyone of color because a lot of the people who are black and on YouTube are usually beauty influencers, and I'm not a beauty kind of gal. So like, it really wouldn't resonate with me as well as it would for a lot of my other friends who are really into makeup and stuff. So I went ahead and I went on this search maybe six months ago looking for YouTubers that I would be able to relate to and enjoy watching, not watching just because they're black, but enjoying them because they relate to me and I can understand them and I can genuinely enjoy their content. So here are the 13 gals that I gathered up. These are my go-tos, the people that I watch every week on end, and I wanted to share them with you, and I hope that you guys enjoy them as much as I do. So these are my favorite black girl YouTubers. Category is... is T. Commentary. Commentary? Anyways, I never realized that I would like commentary. Com I'm gonna say commentary, okay? I may be pronouncing it wrong, but this is what rolls off my tongue better, and I don't have to think about it. So I'm gonna say commentary. I know it's pronounced commentary. Anyways, I absolutely love these commentary channels. I didn't realize I was going to love them as much, but these black women spill tea, talk about topics in ways that I absolutely, I eat it up. I eat it up. My first girl that I would like to share is actually someone who shouted me out like six, seven months ago. And her channel has blown up, which is so crazy. And her name is Taylor, as in Taylor of most of Myra or Myri. I should know that, shouldn't I? Anyways, Taylor is an absolutely fantastic gal. Like I said, she was my first shout out. Also too, she does commentary and lifestyle based videos. So she does vlogs, she does home decor every now and then. But her main thing is she does amazing commentary videos on various topics. Just because a black person decides that they want to go to a predominantly white institute instead of a historically black college slash university does not make them less of a black person. Stop inviting everybody to the cookout. But I just dislike the fact that black people do not take mental health or depression seriously. Hey guys, it's Marie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. She also is very passionate when she speaks. You really have to check out her page and really absorb what she says. It's fantastic. Check her out. She's amazing. Next up is Keisha from the It's Keisha channel. And she's from the UK. I believe she's actually based in London. First of all, she is an amazing singer. Like she, her genre is pop and she absolutely loves pop culture, which is what she covers most on her commentary channels. It's so funny how people have suddenly forgot their passwords for Twitter, Instagram, social media, basically. It's so funny that all of a sudden people have broken their phones so they can't speak out. Hmm, very interesting. I absolutely love the way that she talks. I just, I personally think that that's one of her, not even intentional, but one of the things that draws you to her is because of her, you know, her UK accent. 
and I love that I can follow along to everything that she says. I also love that she's also very passionate, so sometimes she'll be talking or ranting and then she'll just start singing, which is absolutely amazing. In her intro, she always plays a little bit of a clip of her songs and her music. Do you remember? She's also really good communication with her subscribers, with her followers. She was also someone that I reached out to and I told her how much I loved her content and I asked her if she had anybody else who was like her in her field, her expertise on YouTube. Which brings me to our next gal, my reigning queen, Amanda. I am obsessed with her. Let me tell you, when Amanda uploads a video, I no longer multitask with her videos because for you to listen to her is not enough. You must watch her facial expressions. They are, not only does she integrate memes and videos on the topics that she's talking about, she knows how to get you to feel the way she's feeling and that's what keeps you as an audience. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You don't believe that I should exist. Why shouldn't I bully you? <laughs> What? What? It's like high school all over. I don't understand. I don't understand. We're rewarding thievery. What does that say to the children? That ch that people are being rewarded for larceny, for crime, for robbery. Ooh, I don't think, I don't know that person's name. I don't know her. I binge four of her videos. Her videos are at least from half an hour to an hour long, which is fantastic for me. It takes up the time that I personally need for her. She also is a beauty influencer. What she does so well is that while she's doing these commentary videos, she's also putting on a full set of makeup. Like I think it's absolutely dope how she does it. And she does it without any pause. Like it's it's fantastic. She speaks facts and rants like no other. I mean, you have to scroll through her page for you to see the topics that she has covered. For example, she was talking, she had this whole series that she talks about everything wrong with a specific series. And she did one on Dance Moms. I've never watched Dance Moms a day in my life. I wouldn't understand the memes, the gifts, nothing. But through that one hour and change that I watched that video, I felt like I've been watching this show my whole life. It's, she has a way with words and that is a talent, honey. Next up we have Kenya. I found her through Amanda. What I love about these women, I don't know if they did it on purpose, but they are all within the same community of commentary and tea. It's amazing because I found each of them through each other's videos. It keeps it so lively. It's kind of like, you know when you used to watch Disney Channel and they would have those crossover episodes and you'd be like, oh my God. Is that That's So Raven and Hannah Montana in one clip? That's what it feels like watching these girls. So we have Kenya and I got her from Amanda. She is the most recent girl that I've been following. She is first of all cute as a button, which is so funny because she's cute as a button but preaches like a pastor. It's annoying but it's a button. And it cannot go on any longer. Hang it up, flat screen. I would have dragged you regardless. Welcome back. Kenya preaches and I really do mean preaches because I was saying amen as I was watching her video and that is a talent. I don't say amen unless if I'm in church and it's amazing how passionate these women are in their videos. They're bringing this weekly commentary video to you and they're just expressing their thoughts and yet they are able to consume you into their community and I think that's what's so amazing about them. Last but not least in this T category is Kai Foster. Now I don't want to necessarily keep her in the commentary section only because she also comes off as pretty much a lifestyle vlogger as well. It is so hard to just keep her in one niche because she can do whatever the she wants. If not me, then who? And that's very much the energy she has and I absolutely love it. Whatever comes her way is what she'll make videos on, which is very much my style. So she'll have vlogs, she'll have 
commentary videos and then she'll have she had this clip the other day where she's just dancing for a minute and a half straight she has a way of keeping you drawn with the way that she puts out her videos and i think that's worth giving a shot to check out so check out kai foster she also has a podcast that recently launched and i have listened to both episodes so far i want her to be my friend i love her insights her podcast is called the off-brand podcast she reminds me of my best friend vivian and I think that's why I'm obsessed with her because she has a very I don't give a fuck energy, but she still gives you quality, and I love that. So check out Kai Foster. Category is. Next up that I have is one of the very first Black YouTubers that I actually started watching. She is, actually, she is the first Black YouTuber that I started watching, and her name is Kiana. Her handle is Kiana Naomi. She is adorable. She, you want to put her in your pocket. She does a lot of vlogs, she does lifestyle based videos, she does a lot of fashion wear, so she's really good with doing her try on fits. And there is something about the way that she executes these videos that keeps you wanting more. She has a way of just being real, which is why I absolutely love her sit downs as well, where she'll just do Q&As and just she'll chat with you. She also absolutely loves traveling, and that's why I loved watching her because I was just living vicariously through another black girl in the influencer space and watching her thrive, and that's why I was able to relate to her a lot. Yeah, you just have to check her out. Follow her Instagram, follow her page, and live through her because she is a gem. I Next up is Janae. Janae Daly. Oh, this queen is... I love her. As if I don't already love everyone on my list because it's my list, she does amazing home decor. I came across one of her videos when she was living with her mom. <laughs> like I and she redid her mom's kitchen and I believe she also did one where she redid her mom's either bathroom or living room she has a taste she really knows what she's doing I also love the way she incorporates plants into her home decor she is just this humble black woman that like she she's just like a little butterfly like she's really just about her business and I absolutely love it she recently moved to LA which is my dream and she's also doing videos right now where she's decorating her house her apartment little by little in her vlogs so i definitely encourage you guys to check that out janae is all about overall wellness and just being purely content in her life and i think that's amazing next up lexi kennedy i came across her channel i think because she did an unboxing and i was looking for a camera that she now has she did the unboxing and i liked the way that she presented the vlog and then i just decided to start scrolling through her other videos and i realized that she's a lifestyle vlogger and she takes you through her daily life and that's very much what i do and she's just a little beam of light and i think that's absolutely adorable so she has vlogs that i genuinely like watching so i look forward to watching more of her videos so i figured i'd put her in this group of faves because so far i'm really liking the content that she has and she's pretty dope so. next up and last but not least a queen ariane did i say her name right i hope i did she goes by a between on youtube and her other social platforms this queen is doing it all i doing it all that is what i mean by needing a remy ashton slash alicia maria jason so i came across her page because i wanted to check out vegan options i don't want to be a hypocrite i'm not gonna ever really be vegan but i like to have vegan options because i came to realize that they're not bad they don't taste different to me if you know how to cook them and so i wanted to look up healthier options and i came across her what i eat in a day videos and she has a beautiful way of presenting these videos they're informational and they're aesthetically pleasing to watch but not only does she have these amazing healthy lifestyle eating videos she goes into other categories that i didn't even know about she is full of surprises she also has other videos on skincare doing diy pet mani pedis she also has a lot of home decor i mean she goes into so many lifestyle categories and i think that it blows my mind just follow her channel she has so many and it's so crazy because her channel is not recommended which youtube why like her channel is so good and yet it's not recommended i've never come across her channel not a once but check out her page she's fantastic she's a queen next up category is beauty well 
these women are really good in beauty but this is really my support my friends category so these women are all people that i already know they're all pretty good friends of mine and i wanted to start off with my girl carly well actually her handle it's is it's your girl carly she is a tiktok queen but she's also a lifestyle creator i absolutely i i'm obsessed with her first of all she was not someone that i knew before i came across carly's page on youtube when i was googling how to create a podcast and her video was so precise so straightforward that it was the very reason why i created my podcast within that same week something that i was planning for over a year she is not only a lifestyle creator on youtube Carly is all about body positivity, which is something that I absolutely love and adore. She's very comfortable in her own skin, and it's not that she's only comfortable in her own skin. She's able to make sure that everyone else feels just as comfortable in their own skin as well. That's why she has the Confidence Club brand, and I highly encourage you guys to check her out. She also falls into the sexual health category on podcasts, so definitely check out her podcast. I started listening to her episodes, and I realized how much I wanted this person to be my friend. So what did I do? I slid into the DMs. She has a great relationship with her subscribers and followers. What else should I say about Carly that I haven't already bragged about? I don't know what else to say. She's just unapologetically happy. And she is, I don't know, she's amazing. Check out Carly you won't be disappointed. Speaking of unapologetically herself, next up we have Z. Her handle is she3, and she is a bundle of joy. She is absolutely hysterical. She is a person who will record raw footage of herself and post it up. She will post a fail or a success or anything that really comes to her mind is how she'll post her videos. She's very much kind of like Kai Foster. She'll put up vlogs if she has she'll put up home decor she'll do beauty she'll do get ready with me she'll do looks she's a very innovative person and i think that's really awesome to have as a person to follow you really have to check out z's video to really enjoy her because she is absolutely hysterical so i highly encourage you for you to check out her videos she clearly uses her platform as a diary she has no problem executing and expressing herself on a camera with hundreds of people watching. She has no problem with that. So absolutely check out Z, she is fantastic. Next up is one of my fa- <laughs> I'm sorry that I keep saying one of my faves. And also too, I'm sorry that the whole video I've been looking at the viewfinder and not at the camera. So next up, I have Yana So Bad. Yana is actually my hairstylist. I found her through Style Seat when I was first diagnosed with arthritis and nerve damage. And she was one of the first people besides my mom. She was the first person I ever let touch my hair, see my hair, do anything with it. And I am obsessed with her. She is a fantastic woman. Her channel is relatively new. She is now starting to put up content, which is absolutely amazing. She travels, she does vlogs, and she does hair. She has her own hair business as well. So if you live in New York, be able to find her because she is fantastic. I did not do this myself by the way i mean actually i did do this so don't go off of what you see here she did not this is not her work this is me what she does is actually better so she is absolutely amazing if we weren't in quarantine you would definitely be watching her content on her travel vlogs but as of right now she has her hairstyle vlogs that she's been doing so far um her how-to tutorials and she's been putting up story times which this one She's been through it all because she the, the story times that she has, you can't not walk away from. It's absolutely amazing. So definitely check out Yana So Bad, um, aka Ayana, and um, let her know I sent you because she's absolutely amazing and I love her so much. Last but not least, we have Sarah, also known as B Classy, B underscore C L A S double -S Y. She is someone that I met in college and she is. I can't even say cute as a button. She is unrealistically the most gorgeous person I've ever met. It's absolutely insulting, in fact. And I remember always nagging her and being like, hey, like, we don't really know each other, but I think you should have put up a YouTube channel. And finally she did. She has her own hair business as well, also located in New York. So if you want someone to do your hair, be able to find her. She really does thrive in the beauty community. And that is someone, I don't watch beauty videos because I don't watch makeup, but she is someone that I'll sit down and watch because she is so alluring. Like she's so gorgeous. Um, she does videos on hair, like I said, and she does beauty videos. She did a video just the other day, which is basically how to put up like simple makeup and 
I, you can't not get enough of her. For a new YouTuber, she is killing it with her views and her subscribers and her interactions with her subscribers. So I definitely think that if I'm checking her out, you should definitely give her that chance. So don't forget to check out Sarah, follow her pages and yeah that's everything i do have others that venture into beauty health fitness etc but these are the ones that i watch the most and these are the ones that i wanted you guys to experience and check out for yourselves because i absolutely love them they're definitely people that i've been watching during quarantine and a little bit prior to so definitely hop on and let them know i sent you if you guys have any influencers that you would like to recommend to me, other people that I may have been missing out on this whole time on YouTube, like I didn't know about Ariane, feel free to let me know. Like I said, I'm really looking for an Alicia, Remy, and Jason. I would absolutely appreciate it. And well, that's it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And also too, if you guys really enjoyed this series, I don't know if I'll put up another one, but if you did, let me know so that way I will put up another one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my socials. Don't forget that I have a podcast. New episodes have been going up and I've been actually really enjoying myself. And um, I think that's everything. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.